What is going on guys? Titan Talk Tuesday with me, John, CEO of Titan Medical Center. And I am in Houston, Texas right now. So I'm on the road, not in the studio. Um, so with all you guys out there, if you guys are out in Houston, Texas, I'm in your city, in your state. And, uh, you know, at that point, like I'm enjoying myself. Um, you know, I'm out here, you know, my son, we got to go out to the Houston Astros gala last night with the Houston Astros, the owner and, and all these big wigs, you know, and I felt like, man, I was like, this is crazy. And I got to bring my son Peter along with me to go to this, which was really cool, my wife. So at that point, like, my son's like a big base baseball player, if you guys didn't know, um, you know, and at that point, he's just, you know, ear to ear smiles the whole night. You know, what's going on, Jay Velda? What's going on, everybody out there? I hope everybody's having a great start to their week. And thank you for joining for Titan Talk Tuesday on the road edition. You know, I'm not going to leave you guys high and dry no matter where I'm at. As long as I got an internet signal and I can get on Tuesdays, I have never missed. So at that point, I'm always going to be consistent with you guys and uh, talk with you guys, trying to help you guys out, feel better, look better, perform better. Obviously, we can help you out there. But So I'm here in Houston. So last time was the gala, which is really cool. And then uh, at that point tonight, we're going to be going on field for the game. So, you know, it's really cool because, you know, we got to meet Kyle Tucker last night, Nader last night, Jose Altuve last night, which is a future Hall of Famer, if you guys don't know who that is. So it's just really cool. Rahil, how you doing? Hope all, everybody's doing well. If you guys got any questions, shoot them out to me. I'm here for you guys. I'm going to, you know, probably try to talk probably about 15, 15 20 minutes because I got to get ready because we're going to go to this game here and we're going to go to the field like at 3.30. So... You know, it's going to be an earlier day. I'm doing well. How are you doing out there? Uh, yeah. No audio? You guys can't hear me? Hold on. If you guys can't hear me on Instagram, let me know. I think Facebook can hear me. I think, you know, everybody's on there as far as that goes. So if you cannot hear me, let me know. But I think most people can hear me on Instagram. Um, we show the best of Flying Goat Agency. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So, you know, Flying Goat Agency is just another thing that I'm got into with Jason Skelton, who's who's, you know, one of my partners, one of my really, really good friends, um, Spencer, and then, you know, obviously, you know, DJ Fresh, and uh, my wife's along with the ride, too. So, you know, it's just going to be a really, really cool thing, you know, and at that point, like, I'm excited about it, you know. So I'm excited to help a lot of businesses out. I've been helping a lot of people out health-wise. Now, I want to get people's businesses healthy and get them more money, too. So at that point, I'm going to try to do that and branch out. We're going to do some cool things. Awesome. Who's Brian? So we can hear you. I appreciate that. Letting me know. Um, you know, so yeah, tonight we're going to go on the field. Hopefully we're going to meet some of the players. I'm going to go live for you guys. I'll go live on Instagram. Um, if you guys want to see what's going on out there, who's out there, who we're you know talking to or whatever, or if there's just a really cool situation going on, maybe I can catch it for you guys. If not, maybe just post the story. If not, so listen, this week I want to talk to you guys about a couple different things, you know, so We've got l carnitine on special, 500 milligrams per ml, which is a very, very strong, strong, potent dose. Um, and when we talk about l carnitine, you know, we want to talk about how it's an amino acid. It's, it's a great amino acid that a lot of people utilize. And the reason people utilize it because it really works pretty well. And, you know, we talk about boosting metabolism, helping get rid of adipose tissue, you know, uh, you know helping with receptors. Like if you're taking testosterone, hopefully those receptors would be better as far as absorbing what you're intaking your body. Um, you know, there's other things that like blood flow. And like I said, you know, this could help out with building muscle. So amino acids are building blocks of protein. And they're, they're really essential to what the body needs to do what it needs to do in all different aspects. And even when we talk about peptide therapies, you know, peptides are just sequences of amino acids you know, that are placed and at that point results into that peptide, into that result. Your cap is awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Titan Medical Center. So we're talking about L-carnitine right now, which is one of the specials for Titan Medical Center this week. You know, and we're pairing this with ECA Stack Plus. And if you guys don't know what ECA Stack Plus is, it's ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium. And with these things, uh, you know, we're talking about a capsule, so there's no injection. You're gonna get energy, you're gonna get mental clarity, um, you know, you're gonna get weight loss and be able to stay lean. You know, at that point, they're a good tool to use and utilize, even if you don't wanna utilize a lot of stimulants. Because when we talk about ECA Stack Plus, I mean, we have different versions, different tolerances for different people. So, you know, some people have a very low tolerance to stimulants, some people have a very high tolerance. So we have doses for everybody. 
but we want to get the minimal dose with the best effect. And at that point, that means that you're getting good, clean energy, no jitters, no heart palpitations, no anxiety and no problems. So at that point, you know, you can have these different things and not get the negative side effects. And a lot of people think that they are because they overdose themselves on stimulants. Let's, let's talk about like pre-workouts. I don't take any pre-workouts. Me and my son were at Alpha Land Gym yesterday here in uh, Houston, which is phenomenal, like phenomenal. If I was ever gonna create a gym, I would be like, man, this is, this is a pretty good blueprint to start. Um, but you know, at that point, like, you know, we walked in there and he's like, hey, he's like, you know, what, uh, what pre-workout you think is the best day? I'm like, all pre-workouts are garbage. I'm just being honest with you guys. I said, a pre-workout, you know, for me is gonna be like a Fedrin Caffeine Ash, maybe 12 and Chromium Capsule and Hercules Potion Injection. Um, which is talking about glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, alcitrulline, proline, taurine, and NAC. So you're talking about a wide variety of different things that are gonna help. Um, peptides are just sequences of amino acids and different peptides do different things. We talk about healing peptides, BPC-157, still available, TB-500, still available. And these work together, they work separately, but they really work together very good. Uh, they work together synergistically and at that point, um, Systemically throughout the body, TB500 and BBC157 is, you know, uh, site specific to a certain degree of what you want to do as far as injection wise. So, you know, these are just different things I like to bring up. And if you guys have any questions about anything else we do from hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, or anything else, just let me know what those questions are and be happy to answer them here for you guys live so you guys can understand. Um, absorb and be able to utilize you know some of these different things for yourself to improve yourself right how to improve sleep quality so this is a really good one Justin. so sleep quality so how do we improve sleep quality now i made a 60 second video so i've been doing a 60 second or less series which is telling you how to do something in six seconds or less and that was one of them was how to sleep better right how to get improved quality of sleep and there's a lot of different things that happen, right? So one, you wanna make sure that you turn off electronics at night, at least an hour before bedtime. So that means that no phone, no TV, nothing that's going to create stimuli in that brain. We don't want any of that. We want to relax, we want to calm down. We don't want the wheels to keep turning. We want the wheels to slow down so we can go to sleep. And then they'll crank back up when we get up and we're refreshed, right? So at that point, that's the first thing, right? Utilize, not using electronics. Don't utilize electronics an hour before bed. That's a better way to say it. Second part is, don't eat sugary foods or drinks before bed. Don't eat any stimulants. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink tea that has caffeine um, or anything like that. You need to make sure that you're not giving your body fuel to turn on and you want it to turn off. You're doing two totally different things to it. You're starting it up and then you're like, oh, brain-wise, we need to turn down. Not gonna be good. So at that point, don't do it. Next thing. Whew. All right, so we want to get into a comfortable setting. Now, whether it's cold, and usually they say, you know, sleeping under cold is a little bit better for you. Some people like sleeping in warmer atmospheres. Really doesn't matter, whatever's comfortable for you. That's the biggest thing. Don't drink a lot of water before bed. If you drink a lot of water before bed, you might have to get up continuously to go to the bathroom and urinate. And if you urinate too much, that could be a health issue that you might need to check, prostate. So at that point, you know, just do those things. Um, you know, exercise yourself, you know, during the day, you know, wear yourself out a little bit. This is gonna help you sleep better at night. Your body's gonna need rest, repair, rejuvenate, revitalize, and repair itself. So at that point, that's probably one of the best spots to go. Um, and at that point, I think you're gonna be good. Now, if you need some other things to help you go to sleep, don't go to narcotics, okay, ambience and all this. That's gonna be horrible and you're gonna have to rely on it as a, clut, a crutch. Uh, melatonin, this is a commonly used thing and they're using this for kids now. Melatonin gummies and all this for kids to go to sleep. And parents just think like melatonin's a supplement because it's sold in the supplement aisle. So, or even adults that are giving it to themselves, this is a supplement. Melatonin is not a supplement. Melatonin, well, I guess it's supplementation, but melatonin is a hormone. So at that point, like, you are feeding yourself a hormone, you know, which is telling your body to go to sleep, yes. But at that point, like, without it, this could be damaging the effect on the body to really go to sleep by itself, naturally. 
because you know melatonin is a hormone that kicks in when you know we it starts going getting dark out. You know, it starts telling our body, hey, listen, it's going to be time to start revving down and start going to bed. So at that point, you know, we want to make sure that we're we're rested and we're 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 ready to go down. So don't possibly increase your tolerance to melatonin or disrupt melatonin hormone in your body. So just be careful and what supplementation you're using. Can I receive therapies via telehealth and is that covered by insurance? Good question. So telemedicine. We have set telemedicine. You guys can utilize telemedicine, get everything through telemedicine. Uh, we don't take insurance. Insurance doesn't really cover preventive and anti-aging care. Preventive and anti-aging care is going to be more of an out-of-pocket cost. And that's just what it is. Insurance companies don't want to pay for anything, especially if it's not broke. They definitely don't want to fix it. So, you know, at that point, you need to just do yourself a favor, invest in your body because it's the only one you got. All right. So, listen, I'm going to talk to you guys about one more other thing now. It's HRT. Hormone replacement therapy is, uh, you know, is essential for people that need hormone replacement therapy. Yesterday, I was talking to a guy in a gym and he's a younger cat, you know, 26 years old. You know, at that point, he's all natural is what he told me. You know, he wants to do his first NPC show. And he's asking, he's like, you know, he's like, John, he's like, I know what you do. He's like, what do you think? He's like, you know, do you think I should really like start this? I was like, man, I was like, I wouldn't do that. I was like, I would ride out your genetics for as long as you possibly can. Blood test, see where those levels are at. If they're still good, don't mess with them, right? It's just not worth it. But if they're not, then at that point, you can you know, possibly look at you know, using, utilizing hormone replacement therapy if they're low. But at this point, like at 26, and you know, this guy was in phenomenal shape. Six pack, you know, just diced. And I was like, man, you're doing really good for what you're doing right now. So just stay the course. Don't let anybody talk you guys into you know, steroid use or you know, abuse of steroids. Can steroids be used uh, to benefit people? Absolutely. Um, come on, there's so many different benefits for, you know, anabolic steroids and cortical steroids, right? When we talk about like, you know, injections in the shoulders, knees, elbows, you know, you know cortical steroids, you know, I mean, cortisone is a lifesaver for a lot of people out there. So, you know, not an anabolic though. What are the potential side effects of testosterone or estrogen replacement therapy? If not done correctly, there can be a lot of negative side effects. I mean, you're talking about possibly transitioning into one way or the other. <laughs> if you're a guy and we put you on estrogen replacement therapy, which we wouldn't, um, then estrogen replacement therapy, we just bump it up. I mean, you obviously like start getting more female traits, right? And then for men, I mean, obviously, listen, males the exact same way. If you give a female male hormones in an abundance and very high levels, they're going to get masculine uh, traits. But what could be the, some of the side effects? So some of the other negative side effects, and I'd like to be totally transparent with you guys and talk to you guys about this because I, a lot of people don't. I see a lot of clinics out there and they just talk about how, you know, testosterone is just the best thing to slice bread. Do I think it is? It's, it's definitely a game changer. Can there be negative side effects? Absolutely, 100%. Anybody out there that says no, they're unethical. And they're, if they're in our business, doctors that say no, unethical. Doctors don't tell you about side effects or negative treatments that could happen possibly with your treatment. Hmm. I don't know, I second guess it. But at that point, like, you know, HRT can be a life-changing situation as far as good. It can also be a life-changing situation if it's bad. If you start taking testosterone replacement therapy and you're not getting monitored, I don't care if it's getting prescribed or not, but you're not getting monitored properly, negative things can happen. Uh, male pattern baldness can happen, erectile dysfunction can happen, um, you know, mood change can happen. Um, at that point, you know, DVT, blood clots, strokes, all these different things can happen too as well. So it's really important to have somebody watching over your health and monitoring your program and really true monitoring, not just the best price, okay? So <laughs> give me one second, I got somebody at the door here. No, no, come on in. I'm sorry, I'm on the live right now. Oh, I got it, John. Hello, madam. How are you? Hello. <laughs> sorry, guys. You, don't worry. Let me bring you the drinks. Okay? I'm on my live. I'll see you. Sorry, you guys. Um, all right. So, what are the benefits of vitamin injection versus oral supplementation? This is a great, great, great question. So, what's the difference between something you take in orally and something you take in by injection? 
Um, so oral is, you know, you're going to take it through the yeah. mouth. You're going to bring it down the gastro tract. You're going to lose absorption of the supplementation. So at that point, when you're talking about taking anything oral, let's say it's vitamins, right? You're taking a daily centrum or whatever it may be. One, it's going to be full of fillers. Two, it's going to have negative effects as far as, you know, you really don't know what you're getting in it, right? So some of these different things could affect you negatively. And then the absorption rate of what you're getting in, how much you're going to get. So maybe, you know, I'm being generous, five to 10% of anything you're taking in orally, you're going to really get. Um, now, injection, you're bypassing the liver, no, no filter there. Gastro tracts bypassed. You're talking about going you know, into the muscle with, with one of these injections subcutaneously, which is gonna go directly to the bloodstream, which is gonna get you, uh, you know, 70 to 90% of, I don't know, 70 to 90% of, um, Jesus, uh, uh, absorption. So at that point, you know, you're gonna get a lot more bang for the buck. You're gonna feel a lot different on that oral supplementation with an injectable supplementation. You ain't gonna feel nothing on oral like you would an injectable. Even when we talk about herbalist potion, which is like glutamine, arginine, orthine, lysine, citrulline, proline, taurine, and AC. You know, you're, you're talking about, you know, orally, injectable, I, can, I guarantee it. You get a hurt of these potions, it's going to be a game changer for you guys. So, that's just what it is. How do you reduce belly fat? All right, so reducing belly fat. There's a couple different ways. There's one drug that actually targets visceral belly fat. It's the only one. Because usually when we talk about uh, you know, modern weight loss, we talk about, you know, People that lose weight lose weight all over, and they don't lose weight in direct specific locations, like targeted locations. So, talk about belly fat. Most people want to lose belly fat, right? Most people have a gut or stomach, especially guys and girls. And you know, you can't like just do an exercise and like targeting that area. Like, oh, I want to, I want to get the stomach down. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of crunches and abs. You know, but when we talk about testosterone, testosterone is a game changing therapy. It's FDA approved. Not only is it gonna increase hormone. Uh, growth hormone levels, excuse me, but it's also going to target visceral belly fat, adipose tissue. So at that point, getting rid of that and shrinking it down. Slim Fit, how you doing? I hope all is well. Turning vibes, great builds. What's going on? I appreciate you guys and all the questions. Much love to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I got like maybe two more minutes with you guys. Can IV therapy help with anti-aging energy and how often should I get it? So yes, absolutely. IV therapy can be a game changer too as well. It will definitely help with anti-aging, energy, um, you know, dehydration, um, you know, sleep deprivation to a certain extent, you know, as far as eating maybe some energy or maybe something to go to sleep, um, you know, inflammation, like all different types of things can be done through IV therapy, which is really, really cool. IV therapy is awesome and uh, that is the most bioavailable way that you can get any kind of medication into your bloodstream. That's why hospitals will hook you up to an IV it is the best possible way. Can you hook yourself up to an IV every day? I wouldn't do that. No, absolutely not. Can you hook yourself up? Maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can. If you're an RN, probably can. Would I do that? No, probably not. And you know what? It's evasive and at that point, like, you know, because you're going to a vein. When you're talking about like doing one of our vitamin injectables, you're going directly into like a muscle. So it's a lot easier, a lot simpler, a lot better. So it's just what is what it is. How does peptide therapy differ from traditional hormone replacement therapy? Two totally different things. We talk about hormones, we're talking about adjusting or optimizing hormones in the body. We talk about peptide therapy, there's a wide variety of different things that those peptides can do. So, and they're not hormones, they're amino acid sequences. So it's, there's a big difference in what they are and what they can do. So, you know, when we talk about hormones, we talk about adjusting hormones like testosterone or estrogen or progesterone, whatever it may be. And these can cause, you know, uh, great effects or negative effects, you know, depending on which way they go. You know, peptides, usually the same way, but peptides aren't gonna usually have a negative effect. So if you take like a peptide, like let's say you take like CJC or epimorelin, you're not gonna um, disturb your pituitary. You know, at that point, like if you take testosterone, you start injecting testosterone, you can shut down your natural production, it might not come back to where it was, or it takes time to reboot and you're feeling like garbage the whole time. So that's just what it is. What it is. Are there any risks associated with PRP or skin rejuvenation or hair restoration? Probably not. I mean, most PRP is, 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 is that's your own blood. I spin it down, you get the good stuff at the top, and then they inject it in you. Nothing wrong with that. There's no negative things unless they you know, they hit something. You know they shouldn't have hit. You know why, why they're injecting you would that be negligence on their part or they're just not paying attention. Uh, hair restoration definitely has been used with hair restoration for the last couple of years now. PRP has been used everywhere: jaws, hair, knees, elbows, shoulders, vaginas. Um, Metal, men genitalia, I mean, everywhere you can possibly think. That's what I'm talking about, so. But, uh, yeah, man, so, listen, guys, I gotta go. I, I'm sorry to, to rush this, 
But at that point, I thought I'd give you guys some good information. I will be back with you guys next week, and we will not be rushed, I promise. And I will see you guys next week with another Titan Talk Tuesday with me, John Seal of Titan Medical Center. I appreciate all you guys. Go on TitanMedicalCenter.com, get some new gear, go to the YouTube page, hit the subscribe button. That's where I want to push everybody to is YouTube. I want everybody to build up the YouTube. We got it going right now, the momentum strong. I want to keep going in that light. So let's go after YouTube, Titan Medical Center, just type it in, hit the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell so you guys get all the great content fully from Titan Medical Center. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next week with Time Talk Tuesday with me, John CEO of Time Medical Center. Thank you guys, I appreciate you, and I'm out.